this is going to be the existing HVAC system that we have. We're possibly looking at replacing the furnace as well as the AC. Uh, Focus is primarily on the AC though. They have a little bit of water damage coming down from the furnace, but as long as we keep an eye on that, I think the furnace overall is in good shape. Uh, I am going to leave that completely up to them though to decide for themselves. So we may end up doing that. For the furnace side, we have 2 inch PVC for the fresh air as well as the exhaust systems running directly out here. And then you can see the line set directly next to it. It currently has a 2.5 ton coil with R410A. So the line set should be good, but it has a heat pump on the outside right now. And we're just going to change it over to an uh, air conditioner. Uh, we also have a 16 by 20 by 1 filter rack and filter assembly right here. Um, it's, it looks easy enough to change out, but I'll talk to them. We may do a, a base can and a filter rack if we change out the entire system, or we just may focus on just keeping it as is, because that's what they're used to. Um, you also got plenty of room and accessibility on this side for the cold air return. It's a 20 by 10, um, and I really don't like the tape that they used on freaking everything. If you look at this guy, it's just taped over everywhere. <laughs> like everywhere. Um, and I don't know really why. I think it would have looked better if they just let the thermostat wire hang. But they taped the wire to the assembly and it's just taped the lower. So on that guy, you got the electrical coming in right over here on this right side. And then I like to change this over to three quarter PVC instead of this rubber tube. Um, it goes behind the system out and around and drains into this floor drain. But that's basically everything that we have here, guys. So that's that.